Hey everyone, Dave here, back in the garage, ready to pull some orders on the eBay and the, the maybe the Mercari, maybe the Poshmark, probably not the Poshmark. I had like all these issues with Poshmark and it still isn't letting me list on Poshmark, but I'm trying to be a good cross-lister and list on Poshmark and it's just not going that well. Po signed up for Posher VA. That's that like closet sharing thing. Let me see. And I think it's sharing my closet, but I don't actually think I got any sales or anything like that. I don't know. I, do I really? I don't want to really, hmm. I don't want to pay for this Posture VA thing unless it actually makes, you know, makes sense financially, right? Like if I'm selling, more, I think it's 25 a month. If I'm selling 25 a month, more than 25 a month, then I of course would pay for the Posture VA. But so far, you know, it's been two days that I've had it running and I've sold nothing on Poshmark. And then, you know, paying for Vendu, although Vendu pays for itself by the stuff I'm listing on Mercari that sells. So that one kind of already makes sense, but. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with the Poshmark thing. We'll see. I need to reach out to like Lisette, Poshing is my purpose, and ask her if there's anything else I need to do beyond the couple of things I'm doing to actually get sales over there. Cause so far it's been pretty weak. Uh, anyways, I told you, I think they called my lighthouses banned and they took down all my lighthouse listings, which I feel like those would do well over on Poshmark, but I guess not. I sold the camera lens. This one was kind of expensive at a yard sale. I think I paid 35 for it. She wanted like 45, but it didn't have the hood. So I talked her down to 35, I think. I can't remember exactly. It was in that range. Sold it for 110 free shipping. So I have to try to figure out if that kind of flip is really worth my time. I think it is. I only say that because I went to a garage sale this weekend and he had this like really cool, two cool old cars that sell for like $100 and he wanted 60 a piece. And I was sitting there, I was like, well, maybe I could talk them down to 50 a piece, two for 100, and then sell them for 200. But then I was like, okay, if I sell them for 200, they might be sitting in my garage for eight months to two years. Who knows how, they didn't have like a fast seller rate. And, you know, then I've got $100 tied up for two years for a potential profit of like 50 to 60 bucks combined, like 25 to 30 each. Was it, is it really worth it? Was, was kind of what I was thinking. And I ended up not buying them. And now, luckily this one sold in only two weeks. So I feel okay about that buy. Uh, but this one I knew had a faster sell through rate. So I've been trying to think more about like profit margins, right? Especially the way I have my accounting set up where anytime I sell something, th only 30% goes back into my operational budget. That money can run out if my profit margins aren't high enough. So I'm trying to keep my profit margins higher. That's, that's my basic goal. Uh, bin 18, I'm looking for some classic rock CDs. So yeah, just trying to be a little smarter with my buys. Stuff I can sell fast and or stuff with really high profit margins. Thanks for the offer, Dave. I didn't purchase right away because I was deciding on some of your other CD bundles also. Now I had better grab them before others. We watch all your shows, podcasts, whatnots, etc. You and your family are our favorites. Thank you, Mark. This is a little CD bundle, Mark. I put up a bunch of CD bundles, 1859. It's, uh, what is it, 11 CDs? You got some reggae in there. It's kind of a random mix, mix. The Eagles, Van Halen, Bob Marley, The Doors. Just a random mix of CDs. That was like the final bundle I made after like bundling everything by classic rock or country or whatever. And that one was kind of, was what was left. It was the older music. Yeah, so. Oh, by the way, we're going to be testing the post office today. Uh, they told me, you know, she got, if you watched my recent videos, I got in big trouble because, you know, everything went wrong with the storage container sale, which, you know, anytime you do something for the first time, you're going to have issues. My weights were like all wrong. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even realize it. Set out the packages and post lady picks them all up. Postmaster calls me and says, these are all the wrong weights. We're not going to pick up from you anymore. And she's like, she dropped them back off my house. I spent hours fixing it. You can go watch all that pain and suffering if you want in my last couple of videos. But I also have been doing pickups for a year and a half and pretty much always my weights are good, right? Like the vast majority of the time, my weights are all good. 99% of the time, every now and then I'm sure one's off by a couple ounces, but in general, my weights are good. And so I'm like, I'm just gonna try to schedule a pickup and see if they come. So I scheduled the pickup. I'm gonna see if they show up or if they call me. I'm hoping they either just come or they call me and say, hey, we said we didn't wanna pick up and I can just talk to them because they like rage called me and just hung up on me last time. And I can just say, listen, I do pickups all the time. My weights are always right. These weights are always right. I did something different that I had never done before. And I was just, I had an issue with the way things were being weighed <laughs> or not weighed uh, in this case. And hopefully they agree to come pick them up, but we'll see. I, I think they'll just show up and pick them up today. And I did, you know, I've done two whatnot auctions since that. And both times I packed everything up, I weighed it. Weights were all good. Weights were all good. I, I think I did one adjustment, but like I'm being overly cautious at this point. Like I had one that was 1.3 ounces according to whatnot on the label. 
and it weighed 1.7 and I reprinted. That cost zero dollars to regenerate because it's the same exact shipping cost. But like that's how specific I'm being at this point. But that's two auctions in a row where basically everything was correct without having to change anything. So my general method is good. It's just I need to get a good method for when I do it on the out of the shipping container, which I do plan on doing another one of those December 1st. But anyways, kind of moving away from that, but also staying on the subject of shipping. Have you ever made a sale that you wish you hadn't made? Like, that's what's happening right now. I'm looking at this sale and saying, why did I buy this? Why did I list it? Why did I sell it? Why did I put it on sale with my discount? All these things combined created a ultimately terrible decision. Let me pull the item and you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna have to put down my camera, it's that big. Not the VCRs. <clears throat> why, why? You know how we had that long talk recently about how it takes, 50, someone thought it takes 15 to 20 minutes to ship every order? Well, in one thing, they are correct. This thing is going to take me ages to ship. I do not look forward to it at all. It's an Orion CRT 13 inch television. And I really thought I remember telling myself, Dave, only sell those if you can sell them for a hundred plus. I could have sworn I told myself that, but something went horribly wrong here because I sold it for $35. And I really don't want to ship this for $35. <sighs> I mean, they paid 40 in shipping, so I'm not, I don't think I'll lose money on the shipping, but just packing it safely. I've shipped these twice before, once arrived safely, once bro one broke. So I'm gonna have to spend so much money on stinking bubble wrap just to get it there safely. I'm not happy with myself. I don't know why I did that. I should have just never bought it. I think it was free at a garage sale, which is why I took it. And I didn't even look up the brand because a lot of them do sell for like 50 to 100 bucks. But on this one, I was like, oh, it's free. I'll just grab it. But man, I wish I hadn't. And then why would I list it? I should have just donated it or put it on the curb. 9975, I found it right away. Uh, we sold the train. Still moving the trains good right now. It's the trainy time of season. So this is the one that sold. That is a uh, Happy Holidays 2011 Lionel train. And then we sold, I think I did sell some stuff on Mercari too, but out of the blood, sweat, sell bin, we finally sold this doll, which took forever to sell. It's like a, it's not a chatty Kathy. Oh, it's like a Teddy Ruxpin, but it's like the one they made for the girls. It's Cricket. Cricket the doll and she's got like a little tape and a cassette player and you can play her little cassette and story time and all that stuff. I got it for super cheap. I think I got it at the flea market. It was fill a bin for $5 or something. So that was part of that. So I paid like less than a buck for her. Uh, but yeah, $62 free shipping. Probably cost me, it's telling me 15 bucks, 12 bucks to ship it. So 12 bucks to ship it. So probably 50 bucks out the door, something like that. Then out of the Regal Seagull bin, I sold a plushie. Where's the Regal Seagull? I don't feel like I've seen that in a while. Oh, that's because it's way up high. Let me grab it. Feels very empty. Yeah, just two plushies in there. This is what sold, it's a little tiger. And it's Tippy the Tiger. Now, a lot of times I move my plush on whatnot, but something like this that doesn't have a lot of like nostalgic or I don't know, just memorable things about it that I know is worth good money, but I know will go like on whatnot for a dollar. A lot of times I'll list that stuff on eBay, especially when it's worth 15 bucks like this one was. This one sold for 15 plus ship or 14.97 or something. And I don't think anyone would have bid on it, honestly. Tippy the Tiger probably would have sold for a buck or two and whatnot. So I went with eBay for that one because I just think it had to find the right audience to sell that one. I've been doing a lot of whatnot auctions. It wasn't really on purpose. <laughs> it wasn't really on purpose, but I've ended up doing a whatnot auction Tuesday, Wednesday, and now again Thursday. The Thursday one is because someone's coming to town and he wanted to sell a bunch of Christmas stuff. And I said we could do it on my channel. So it's really his stuff that we're selling for that one. And then last night was an action figure one that I scheduled like a week ago. I had Mikey like loaded in and it's just been sitting there loaded in for like over a week. And I was like, I just gotta run this thing. And then on Tuesday, I had all this extra Universal Studio stuff. I've been buying a lot of Universal Studio stuff at the garage sales. And so I did like a big blowout sale of Universal clearance. And uh, you know, I, I, you know, if you're watching the Universal store, like my Park Pursuits theme park channel where I go shopping at Universal and do family vlogs at theme parks and stuff, just the stuff I sold paid for all the stuff I bought in my haul videos uh, over there. And we kept a bunch for ourselves. So that's pretty cool. A break even on the expenditures over there. I did have a, an issue with the footage, which was really depressing yesterday for my park channel, where I had gone and done like the Universal Garage Sale, which people really like that content. I accidentally deleted the whole entire memory card full. I have no idea how. I still to this day do not know how it happened. One day later to this day. <laughs> I still to today do not understand how in the world that all got deleted. Where's this? Oh, I see it. Okay, so I sold five little hubcap covers for Dodge Ram, they're chrome ones. You know, they got the little Ram on them. 
I'll put that here. They're not in great condition, so I priced them pretty cheap, for especially for five. I priced them at $39.99 plus ship, and those all sold pretty quickly in about a week. But it is funny, because I do get a lot of comments on that Park Pursuits channel that I'm a shopaholic. Of course, I think most flippers are kind of shopaholics, <laughs> don't you think? Like, we love shopping, which is why we enjoy going and shopping and then reselling stuff, because we like shopping. And reselling enables you to shop more. So I think a lot of us are shopping. Tell me in the comments if you're a shopaholic or if you think you might be a shopaholic, because I think I might be. Uh, but you know, if you can find a way to be a shopaholic and sell enough so that you're not losing money and you're at least breaking even or making a profit, then you can, you know, I give you permission to keep being a shopaholic. <laughs> uh, this train sold, this is another Christmas one. It's got a little elf on it. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but it's just like a little elf and a reindeer. It says, happy holidays, 1999. Another Lionel Christmas train. All these Christmas trains are moving right now. Uh, that one sold for $32 plus shipping. All right, I do have a couple of Mercari orders. Oh, someone's at my door. From Cross Listing with Vendu, of course. This is the Hazy IPA Little Things Beer Tap. This one sold for $22 plus shipping over on Mercari. And then I sold out of this little tiny drawer over here, a little action figure. Let me grab that. This is another one that sometimes there's just things I know won't do really well on whatnot. And I really didn't think this one would do well and whatnot. So I list them on eBay because sometimes eBay is where the best money is for stuff. I mean, it's almost always where the best money is for stuff, but there's also speed to consider and things like that. And for some reason, I felt like this was going to sell fast and it did. I just listed this. It's a uh, zombies from that Disney show, Zombies. Zed, ne Zed Necrodopolis uh, sold for $16.90 plus shipping over on Mercari. Actually, I think it sold for more than that, $17 on Mercari. It's funny, because sometimes you can get more on Mercari than you do on eBay, if you're lucky. And then we sold a Leatherman, actually, on Mercari as well. That one's in Tiny Drawer 2. It was listed for $69.99 on the eBay, and you have to round up on Mercari. So I had it listed for $70 on Mercari and it's sold. Leatherman's are always good. I paid up for this one. I think I paid 30 or 35 for it. I don't know. I I was a little scared that I'd only be able to sell it for like 30 or 35 when I was like comping it at the flea market. But then I got home and I realized because of the condition in the case that I could get a little more for it. So I did get 70 bucks for that plus ship over on Mercari. So not bad. I will say my comic books that I sent into CGC to get graded, they have officially drawn the money or tried to draw the money. It didn't work the first time because I had that whole issue a few months back where my bank just randomly killed my debit card and sent me a new one. Well, that's the debit card they tried to charge. But either way, I gave my new debit card and I think they probably charged me last night while I was sleeping for the grading of the comics, which Rod was telling me, Pickin' and Punchin' was telling me, that means they're very close to being done and they should be back to me soon. My only concern is that they might show up while I'm out of town. Um, and be sitting on my front porch for a few days. So that's that'd be terrible. I won't let that happen. I'll make sure my mom goes over and grabs them for me. Uh, they might even be signature required. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Rod about that. Uh, okay, $454 sold on eBay, another 100 something over on Mercari. So like a $600 day if you round up, you know, to my own benefit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll get this all shipped out, packed up and ready to go, and we'll see you next time. I did want to, I wanted to end this video out by thanking a few people. Death Valley Fine sent me a gift in the mail. It was a portable urinal, which you'll have to watch Trash to Cash podcast to understand that joke. But thank you, Death Valley Finds, for that. It's funny. And then this is amazing. It's a Fuggler shirt. It's literally a Fuggler t-shirt. How awesome is that? Extra large, too, which is my size. That came from uh, Quentin, the South Dakota thrifting teacher. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm going to rock it today, I think. And then I also got some stickers from Loki's flips over in uh i think he said he's in vegas actually so or st george utah that's what it is so thank you guys for the stickers and the t-shirt appreciate that thank you so much for watching everyone else too thank you bye oh and also thank you to nathan cunningham who joined the uh channel memberships at the adh dave super crew level we really appreciate that all right guys so the post office clearly is triggered they did not pick up my packages again and they did drop stuff off meaning i gotta go to the post office
Now, I whine about this, but the post office is about two minutes away. <laughs> it's not really a big deal at all. It's more just like inconvenient, you know, 20 minutes of inconvenience each day. But it still annoys me. Oh, look who's here. I would never complain about the post office. No. I love all postal workers. Yeah. You're amazing. He would never do a series of videos complaining, but I'm going to. <laughs> I should tie, I don't know. Do I title this, I got a $2,000 sale or the post office hates me? I don't know. We'll Both. see. You guys tell Double me. Yeah. Title. Yeah, I did get, it wasn't a $2,000 sale. I'll show you my sale. I got to load up, but I'll show you my sale first. It's not that exciting because uh, I paid a lot of money for it, <laughs> but I sold my old camera. So this old camera that I have here, uh, it's a Sony FX30. I paid 1600 bucks for it. I sold it for 1579 with some accessories I had bought. I got, a, I got a new camera that it's not quite as good as the one I'm using here, but it's a lot cheaper and uh, it's super convenient. I don't have to set a bunch of big heavy gimbals up. This one's much lighter weight. So anyways, I sold that. I also sold, I'm just gonna go quick because I gotta get to the post office. I sold this tablet uh, out of bin four. It's a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7, and that sold for $85 free shipping. And then finally, out of old school flips, we sold a Chatty Cathy. That was my son's $60, I think, 60 plus shipping for this old Chatty Cathy with the box. And did he pay shipping? Yeah, they paid 18 bucks to ship it as well. So those are my three quick sales. I gotta go to the post office, we'll see you later. Guys. I am shipping my very first, Kevin, what did I do? My first ever. Poshmark, y'all. Poshmark so. order. It was perfectly code Commonwealth. No, <laughs> false news, guys. <laughs> Vendu code ADH Dave. Vendu code ADH Dave. I told Kevin I don't know how to do this. He's helping me figure this out because I've never shipped one. I have to add my birth year. So if you ever sell something on Poshmark, you got to Hey, do you sell stuff on Poshmark? Yeah. Do you usually, do you share your closet? Uh, occasionally. How do you do that? Do you I use like a... Get, you need to get the Posh Share. Posh Share, yeah. Posh Share. Or you can do Flip has a free one. You do it for yeah, free. true. We're trying to figure out Poshmark and become Poshmark okay. sellers. I mean, this one sale, let me tell you what I sold. I sold a lighthouse for like $48. Yeah. So, or $42. Now it's sending me a text message. There's a whole project here. And I still haven't gone to the, uh, to the post office. Like I said, they're mad at me. My whole van is full again of packages. It's not like they're gonna like me any better by carrying them in there. <laughs> this this so printer crazy? is terrible. Wow, that's crazy. I'll tell you what I do. Just, just, just screenshot just it. Screenshot yeah, that's a good it idea. And get it and print it. That'll probably work. To be Hillboro Inlet. That's a hard one. Took an offer on this for forty-eight dollars. It's gonna be kind of hard to ship because it's very tall. Lighthouses. Always buy lighthouses. Not, not really, but it went well for me.